What's up guys, GreatGamer34 here. So today I'm bringing you a CPU that I made in Logism, and it's currently programmed to run Fibonacci. I will leave a download link with the program available for you guys, and I will also leave a layout for, of the instruction set so you guys can know how to program it as well. So let's get started. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines of code, and I can manually go through them here with a clock and watch the output here. So we start with one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, twenty one, thirty four, it should be like fifty five or something like that, then eighty nine and there we're at the highest bit so that was it running Fibonacci um, so it's also fun to uh, simulate this with let's put the tick frequency at 4 hertz and let's enable the ticks so there it's running by itself doing its own thing. There's nothing telling it to stop running when it gets a carry out or a flag or anything. So let's actually zoom in and see what's going on here. So I'm just going to let it run while uh, zoom in. So let's look in here. And here's our instruction decoder. So our, our operations come in through here, through the uh, uh, through the ops right down here. Um, then there's a decoder up along the top that decodes the values. And then um, these values get managed to a bus which comes in like this. So this all looks like a lot, yeah. But uh, so this is this first thing is an and and uh, I'm sorry, add, then it subtract, or, nor, xor, shift, uh, all, all those functions like that. Then it comes down to here, this is my branching function, here's my program counter. So here's the clock coming in here, and here's the PC output. Uh, here's all the PC logic for that. Then um, over here we have a decoder for the branching flags, and what they're gonna do and how they check for what and then I have up here some logic for my compare which also is useful and then here is my output from my execution unit so if I zoom in on my execution unit you'll see here in the execution unit I have a lot of stuff going on so over here that's RAM it's not hooked up currently because it was giving me an error but um, so I have registers here. I have register A and register B. I ha have my ALU over here. So basically, how this works is the ALU here in the, this block in the middle gets inputs from A and inputs from B, which are registers. There's seven registers in each one of these banks, so three bit address for each one of them. So there's one read on register A and there's one read on register B, and there's a write for both of them, but the write is hooked up to the same line, so whatever I write to register A also gets written into register B. Uh, this is a similar setup, it's just dual read basically, it gives me a dual read register system. Um, over here is the decoder for ALU functions, and then into here is what the ALU functions do. Up here is my flagging system and then my buses of course. So now let's zoom in to the ALU. So the ALU I made completely myself. It actually uses carry look everywhere logic. Um, you see here the ALU is being flashed um, different operations and it's able to handle them because it's uh, it's not a ripple carry adder. It's a form of carry look ahead. It's carry look everywhere and that's what this is doing. So now if we just zoom out again to the execution unit, let's check out what our registers are doing. So 
here we have registers and you can see their out, like, output. Um, the output's there. The read address is here. The read address is this area. A uh, reset for the um, uh, clock. Data in. And then the write address. So that's basically all there is for that. Looks pretty cool though. Um, yeah. So that's the entire the entire thing. It's just that's all it does for now. Um, I do, however, or well, I am, however, right now working on a multiplication program for it, and that should be out soon. Uh, I think I'm going to start building a lot more cool stuff in Logism now that I know what it can actually do. It's my first project really in it, so if you guys like it, don't forget to subscribe and. Uh, See you guys next time.